day two of my extra extravagant adventure. We're at the boat launch now. It's a uh, it's a uh, six fifteen a.m. in the morning. We woke up at four thirty, and it's about a twenty minute ride out to where we're gonna start fishing. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get today, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I can get a good bit of footage for Ian's. over the back trying to get it out of the motor we got most of it out now we're just trying to get moving and hopefully the line will get itself out Back at the launch here, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but as I said, we got some of our lines tangled up in the boat motor because the waves are really hard. So when we we're trying to move, everything was being pushed into the motor. That usually wouldn't happen, but the wind, the waves were only forecast at about one foot, and it was probably about two or three foot waves. So everything was moving a lot faster than it should have. So Corey said he ate a three -foot wave. yeah, Corey ate one. So we're back at the launch. We're gonna pull the boat out and um, get the line out of there, then launch a new tag line, and we're going back out. 
her captain, Tony Sr. Richard. Just holding the boat down. Got the boat situation all figured out. We're headed back out. We're back out here on the water. Time to catch our limit. That was a beautiful lake trout. We just reeled in. Think I'm good to go now, Corey? Am I good to go now? Yeah. Real? The other one. And not my royal reel wasn't too high. Just a little update from the middle of the ocean in Lake Erie. We're headed towards Niagara Falls. No, not really. AJ the second has brought in 15 fish today. So far, we're not done. We're going, we're going for our limit, which is six each. This is all totally new type of fishing to me. It's total teamwork. If not everyone's not working, there's no fish coming in the boat. Total teamwork on this here type of boat work. Yep, I'll keep you updated. Final update from the lake. We hit our limit for the day, 24 on the boat, six each. We got plenty of sun as you can see. And we're pulling the boat out of the water and we're going up to back to base of operations for some grub and to fly up all those walleye. There wasn't one that wasn't a keeper besides the bass, but there's no point in keeping We even got those. a perch as a bonus. Perch as a bonus and four white bass, nice white bass. I got put in all the pictures and videos I have, but excellent day on the water. We had that little hold up. We would have been done a couple hours earlier. So overall for a first time experience, it was an amazing day out there. All right, everyone. Thanks, Corey. We're back at the base of operations. Just uh, hung our fish up for a picture. I'll roll in a picture. It is graphic, by the way. So if you're uh, really blood, and graphic content just don't look at it so now that we got our fish back to base we're gonna flay them and uh, I think we're separating the meat evenly there's a lot of fish this is what a cooler full of walleye look like and there's a purse somewhere a purse on a purse there's a purse in there Bart. What is going on guys? As you see, I am home. I am home from back from Erie, back from the boat, back to reality, back to work tomorrow night. But this weekend was truly amazing. A moment in time I'll remember the rest of my life. First time catching some serious walleye. I don't think I've ever caught walleye at all in the river or anywhere but some serious walleye, at least like probably two feet long walleye and probably seven to eight pounds. Um, those are some serious fish out there on Lake Erie. Whole different type of fishing experience. Whole different type of fishing experience. It took a lot of teamwork, as I said earlier, if not everyone's it's a hands all hands on deck type of fishing 
one has the reel, one has the net, and get the hook out as fast as you can to get that rod back up into the poles so you can get another rod out there to catch another fish. The limit is six per man. The fish have to be over 15 inches. Unfortunately, I did not able to get an interview with Tony Sr., the captain of AJ the Second. It is Corey's grandfather. You may know Corey if you watch my channel. Corey is my good friend and his family's full of hunters and fishermen. Him, his dad, and his grandpa. Hell of a fisherman, even probably even better hunters. But if I'm even half of the fishermen one day is Tony Sr. is, I'll be pretty happy. The just from being out there from uh, about 6 a.m. officially on the water till up until 3 o'clock, I learned a ton and I'll be a lot better prepared for when we go back out there. But that probably will not be till next year because they are going into hunt mode here pretty soon. And so, anyway. I'm going to end this vlog here on a good note instead of carrying it into the next day. It's right after midnight right now. I just got home. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. And if you like this video, let me know. But as always, it's been a claimed sheepdog. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your day.